My name is Erin Bauer. I'm with the Illinois State Water Survey. I'm out here on the Sangamon River collecting samples today to analyze for d levels of nitrogen and phosphorus. We also came here today to pick up some water samples that were collected with an automatic pump sampler. We take measurements of the water surface elevation each visit to compare with the water elevation measured with the radar. In the equipment shelter, we have two batteries, one to power the pump sampler and the other to power the other electronic equipment. We have a radar, which measures the distance to the water surface, a logger that stores the data, equipment settings, and runs programs on each new measurement, a modem so that we can access the data from the office via the internet, and a solar panel to keep the batteries charged. The radar measures the elevation of the water surface each 15 minutes and the logger or the computer records the measurements and signals the automatic pump sampler to pump the water from the river into the sample containers. These water samples are brought to the laboratories at the Illinois State Water Survey to be analyzed for nutrients such as nitrogen and phosphorus and for suspended sediment. During each visit, the equipment in the power system is checked and recorded on a site log. We'll change the batteries if they're low and check the solar panel output. Radar, pump sampling times, and other controls can be adjusted as needed right now. Some of these checks and adjustments can also be done via the modem, but we need to actually see what is going on at the station and in the river, too. Today is a good example because when we arrived today, the hose for the automatic pump sampler was frozen in an ice flow. Luckily, with a few well-aimed snowballs, we were able to free it. But the river conditions today are calm. There's just some thin floating ice on the river today. Sometimes there could be log jams, beaver dams, big trees floating down the river. These can get stuck on the bridge and affect the water surface under the radar, which would give us incorrect water level readings. We're also here to collect depth integrated suspended sediment samples. The river water is collected in the glass bottle through the red nozzle. The sampler is shaped like a fish to keep the nozzle pointing into the current during sampling. Now that it's pointing into the current, I can lower it at a constant speed to the bottom and back to the top without stopping. Watch for the bubbles coming out the side. The trick is to fill the bottle with enough water, but not to overfill the bottle. By keeping the sampler moving, it collects the same amount of water at every depth from the top to the bottom of the water column. This gives us a measurement of all the suspended sediment at, at this location in the river. Each visit, we collect a water sample to analyze for nitrogen and phosphorus concentrations, which vary from season to season and during and after rain events. We filter and acidify the sample as soon as possible to prevent changes in the nitrogen and phosphorus concentrations. The filter is very fine, so we use a suction pump to pull the water through the filter. Other samples need to be acidified as well, with a small amount of sulfuric acid. As we leave to go to our next site, we remember that the rivers of Illinois are an important resource in many respects. From a fun place to spend the day along the river, to an important drinking water source for many of our communities. The Sangamon River water will make its way to the Illinois River, the Mississippi River, and eventually the Gulf of Mexico.